for a real estate agent, I think what I'm finding with a real estate agent is we all have our specific strengths and you could be a real estate agent no matter what strengths you have. It yeah. allows you to work within that space yes, and, and, and become better at and look for the people that you do match up with. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. And even the thing that I think is cool about strengths, Greg, is we all say there's 10 of us in the room and we are all doing the same activity. Maybe we're calling leads today. What strengths tells us is it's not like you have to have a certain strength to do a certain job. The key to it is how you approach the job might be different and that's what will bring you success. So for example, if there's 10 of us in the room, I might be doing a group call because I have woo. You right. might be doing a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, but I was coaching an agent recently who had high restorative, which likes to fix things or fix relationships. Mm. And he was calling expired leads and just totally down in the dumps, discouraged and hating it. And we had a conversation of, how can you use your restorative strength calling expires? And he was like, you know, they've had a bad experience with realtors. I could fix that. Like I, I actually could fix the relationship with real estate agents by providing a good experience. It totally changed. He didn't change the activity. He still called the same lead source, but his energy went up. He started setting more appointments. He was a lot more excited. He had a lot more grit because he was, he was viewing it through his restorative strength. And so the activity doesn't change the way you approach it does and the way you think about it does. And that's where the power comes from. Cool. That's the old, uh, change the way you look at things. Yeah. The things you look at will change. Same yeah. job, different outlook, different, different, um, vision of what you're doing.